Oh yes, now Dave explain. This is this is the the pre-made base that does not fit as is in my Xterra. So I mean, there's a difference between the 05 and the 04 Xterra. That yeah. Significant. So explain what we're gonna. So the try problem first. is, is the way this is supposed to fit. This is supposed to mount to the seat bolts, right, on the floor. And this thing, the way it's angled, the way his seat bolts are, it would be sitting like this, which, which is, is not, not good. Work. So what we need to find a way to do is. Basically cut this right here, and then cut an angle right here, and we're going to try and bend that up Sweet. to make the thing sit level again. And that's going to be the first try, yeah. and if that doesn't work, we're just going to make a whole new one. This is the one that was inboard. So. That's the same. Was this one that was before? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think this was? Ooh, that is going to be a little problematic. That was a spacer. All right, so we're going to have to cut this corner off. Oh, wait a minute. There was some other stuff that you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> yeah, the fucking extra parts. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, that all, all this yeah, stuff so came with the paint. That takes care of the fact that the two bolts are at different heights. That's why you use this guy. Oh. And I hmm. put that underneath that one. Why didn't they just make it different? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I guess it's cheaper to cut this, paint it black, and throw it in a bag. I think that's exactly it. Here. Oh, it does come with That's that. one thing I just wanted to put on a belt sander and just basically nick off the entire corner thing. All right, then it won't cool. reduce the strength too much. I figure we should probably do that after I weld this back up, if we can time it that way. Yes. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to dangle. Uh, I can open this all the way up for now, uh -huh. so we can test it. Well, what I'm what, yeah, yeah, it's probably <coughs> best. Pardon me. But if you were going to add like material to this, yeah, yeah, if we grind it flat, I mean, is it the same thing as regular steel? You drill through it and yeah, uh, uh, the heat affected zone is going to make weird little hard spots and soft spots and stuff like that. So I, I was thinking more like effectively slot it. Yeah. That I'll take the the cutoff wheel. Yeah. And and I'll make this open all the way across. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see how it is. If, if you're happy with it, that's fine. If we want to close it in, I'll just take a little piece of that plate and weld it even on the end. Okay. So the slot will end in a square, but yeah. whatever. All right, so we are basically, this is the stock base that, um, or I should say the pre-made base that I originally purchased. That's for the 2005-2006 Xterra, not for the 2004, which is what I have. We are gently manipulating it to hopefully make it fit on the seat bolts of my 2004 Xterra. And from there we can purchase the rest of the parts needed for the laptop desk. Yes, the, the infamous windshield hail guard. Hey, I happen to have more street bungees from my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we use for these. These are the best things to use. I know, they're strap, regular uh, strong, uh, strap ties. So what do we got going on? What, where do we stand right now as far as the original pre-made base? Well, we are modifying it right now so that it will, instead of starting from scratch, we're going to use what we got and see if we can make a fit. And that's going to go in there and Mark's doing some more grinding. That is a mock-up mounting pole that we have there. The actual one will be a little bit shorter than that. I'm just trying to get a just trying to get a level check. Come on. It's already smoking. Yeah, generally that's not a sign of proper operation. <laughs> <laughs> that could be bad. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Was that, was that yeah, in functioning order at one time? It yeah, was right. about a half an hour ago. Magic smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's a burning WD. Uh, uh, that's yeah. more than that. <laughs> yeah, that. That would be that enamel they put on motor windings to keep them from shorting out, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we... And here's Mark, who has been helping us Indeed. and doing pretty much all of the welding and grinding and everything. <laughs> everything, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I'm just the 
brain. <laughs> <laughs> this thing needed to be bent this way, so we have now cut this little member here. We've rebent this thing further in, and we've re-welded it where it needs to go. And now Mark's just going to be grinding up that to, to finish off the weld and make it smooth. Okay, here we are, April 5th, 2010, uh, back in Queens, New York now. Here's the finished outcome of all the work that we put in up in Albany, New York, uh, the other day. As you can see, uh, new pieces had to be welded on here uh, so that this would fit around the, the seat bolt. We had to actually bend it here, shave off some of this, and shave off some of down there. Get It was a pretty good amount of work, but... Uh, this is the base for the laptop stand, and uh, we're going to be getting the rest of the parts for that. Got my ham radio installed there, ICOM 65 watt. And uh, yeah, a couple of weeks we'll be hitting the road for Storm Chase 2010.